You're feeling like you're on overload Get the family out on the road Bring mom and dad and your sister too We got something for you to do Just don't let grandma forget the dentures Visit first class all the adventures People to meet and food to eat And friendly people that are actually greet you No, know, you don't have to be on a diet But you get a whole lot of peace and quiet Come on, your dog is looking like he needs to Adventures coming live from Wellington, Texas, and we are going to give you a tour of our Heartland Toy Hauler Fifth Wheel. And I'm really excited because this is not the first tour we do, but I think it's the first one where we are like a hundred percent comfortable in front of the camera. <laughs> so we are ready to show you a little more detail because if you look at the first one, it wasn't as detailed. So here we go. We are currently in the kitchen. So our kitchen, we do have a pretty good amount of counter space. And we actually just did this today. Shout out to Olivia and Kyle at Driving and Vibing because we watched their tour of their, uh, what is it that they have, a fiber stream? And they had this cool little thing right over here to dry their dishes. Well, we had this big bulky thing on the side so if you go look at that first video you'll see it so Lewis was awesome he cut it up and he put it he cut what we had and put it right here so this is perfect I'm really excited about that so now we have a lot more room back here and we just have our espresso coffee maker because we love coffee <laughs> and we have the kitchen I mean that we have the stove we do have an oven in here which we do use it just took us about a year to learn how to do it, how to use it without like burning our cookies or burning anything. We do have a microwave here. And we do have a lot of room up here. Up here we keep our plates, we keep our bowls, our cups, so that works out. And it's all set perfectly, so when we open, the only thing that sometimes slides out on moving day are the bowls, and I think we're kind of used to it, so we're like, be careful. Up here we keep Part of it is like extra cups that we have and part of it is like our pantry because there really is no pantry in this fifth wheel, but we've made it work. We keep our pots on this side. Actually, no. We keep our instant pot there and our pots down here under the oven. And then we keep our utensils here and our glass cups so that they don't break. These are things you have to think about when you move. We have broken quite a bit of glasses, but I think we finally have figured it out after almost two years of where to put what so that it does not break. And down below we have like our spices and a little bit of like um, tools, quick tools. And then under the sink we have our garbage can down here and we have our cleaning supplies. This is what we have created into our pantry. I mean we don't have that much stuff to put so this worked out perfect for pantry. We keep, you know, our things down here and up there so it works out well. We do have a nice size free, uh, refrigerator. I was gonna say freezer, fridge. Yeah, we have a good size of that. So we have our freezer up here and then our refrigerator down here. It is a resident, it's not quite as big as a residential, but it's big enough for us. We, it, it's awesome because when we're boondocking, it can flip over to gas. So that's nice because we don't have to waste our electricity from the generator when we're boondocking. So we like it, and it does that on its own. It has an automatic feature. Then right on this side, we have the living room. <laughs> our living room, we don't have a dinette here in this fifth wheel, but what we have are these tables. So we left it out to show you. Lewis and my workspace is up here. We usually do work right over here. There's another table that comes up over here, and these three couches right here do recline so it's nice when you are watching tv 
When it's cold, there is a fireplace here which actually works. It doesn't just look pretty, it actually heats up the living room area and a little bit of the kids area. So this comes in really handy when it's cold. I used to think, oh, it's so pretty, but it actually is more than just a pretty fireplace. Right over here we keep like our blankets, which is nice, extra blankets and sheets when we have guests. Now, what we are thinking of doing, so stay tuned for this, is doing a whole remodel in here. So I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned for that remodel. But what we're thinking of taking out these two right here, so this layout used to be different. It was like one recline, one didn't, one recline. So they were like every other recline. And when we cleaned the carpet down here, we put it, all the reclining ones here, and we put those there with, and we, what we have in mind is to take them out and actually put a dinette there so that we have both. We have the versatility of setting up a table here and then we also have that ready to go instead of having to set this table up every time we need a table. Because when we're moving, this actually closes in all the way. So obviously we can't leave that up. And then that slide comes in all the way too. So when we are moving, both of these slides come in together. Up there we do have a loft. So that is nice because when we have Lewis's oldest, we actually have, she has her own area there, up there she has her, you know, her books and her girl things up there, which is cute. And this right here is the second bathroom, which it's actually a full bathroom, which it comes in so handy. <laughs> we have, so this is a kid's bathroom technically, you know, but so they have an area here to keep, we keep like our extra toilet paper in here. We have this to keep their shampoo when we're moving. So they have a sink, they have a toilet, and it's still far enough, it's not too, too close. And they actually do have a tub here, it's small, it's like perfect for them. So, and they have a cute little window back here. So this comes in super, super handy because they don't use as much water. When we first started our journey, they were one and three. So that tub doesn't require a lot of water to fill up. So it actually works out really well. We hang up their towels there and it's just, it's perfect for them because they're still small. And even Lewis fits fine in here <laughs> when he has to use an emergency. Okay, so right over here is the kids area, playroom, bedroom, living room. So we love this room because it's so versatile. We were. You know, we fell in love with this because we could convert it into a living room and we have those tables just like in the living room that we can put right here. So sometimes this becomes their classroom. Sometimes this becomes my office. Sometimes this becomes their hangout area. Sometimes it just stays as their bedroom because we pull these out and this is how they each have their own bed. And they have big windows in here. We have a lot of storage up there. So that's actually where we keep their clothes. Their television right now, you are hearing it, so I'm trying to talk loud because this is the best way <laughs> for us to finish shooting the video. But basically, this TV turns over to the patio side and it, it works out really well. They actually have a sliding glass door on this side. We have a port, a deck on that side, but we don't use that one. We are working on doing some upgrades so that we could leave that one open 100% of the time instead of having to close it when it's you know too hot or too cold so we're working on that out here is where they're at right now so right out here we have the deck watching PJ Masks <laughs> and this is the television so we can watch it inside or outside so it works out really good kind of loud out here it's hot in Texas so we have the fan on so they don't die of heat exhaustion on us entrance if you come right up here this is like the mom and dad area <laughs> so you come up these little steps and the reason there's steps is because this is a fifth wheel which means it sits on the hitch of our truck on a hitch on the bed of our truck so this is where we have our little area so we have this right here when we first started we put our TV here but we decided to get rid of it about a month after our adventures because it was a pain in the butt and this view is so much nicer than the view of a television. In here we do have a washing machine which comes in super handy. I dealt without one for almost a year and then I found one on OfferUp and I ran to get it because man, if you do not know, you can 
spend a lot of money in laundromat, especially with two little ones. There was accidents. They were learning how to potty train. So this thing has been a lifesaver. This is where we keep our clothes. Lewis's side and then my side is on that side. The shoes go at the bottom. So we actually have plenty of closet space. Underneath the bed, there's also a storage area, which that lifts up. Over here, we have drawers, which we have one is for like our work, our business things, and then the other one's just clothing that has to get folded. We have a king size bed in here, which is nice. Um, we weren't sure we were gonna how we would do with it, but it fits fine. And our slide is actually not open all the way. The slide comes all the way in when we're traveling. So without it being open all the way, we still have plenty of room. I didn't realize we were not even open all the way. So this is also tied into the bathroom. So this right here is the last room. It is our bathroom, which we actually do have a full-size tub in here, which is awesome. We have storage, a little bit of storage up here. We have a little bit up here. We have down underneath the sink. And then we have, of course, the toilet and the sink. So this is our little area. The nice thing is that there's an entrance from the hallway or an entrance from our bedroom. So that's it. That is the tour of our fifth wheel, Big Bertha. Adventures.